Hello everyone, it's me, Captain Blueberry Buckaroo, aka Lancer737. Um, gonna be visiting everyone's equestrias. I am sorry for not being able to do this for a while. Okay, so first thing that happened was, you know, the campaign started. I was very busy with that. And then unfortunately I ended up in some issues. I guess I'm not gonna really get into. But then I, I got ill in a certain sense. Um, not like you know, like flu or a bug, but, uh, I had a really weird ocular migraine and it was just very hard to look at digital screens. Um, I felt like I had like a rail railroad spike going through my, uh, my eyes and the pain was going through my eyes out the back of my head and then down my neck. It, it, it was horrible. And it just, it would get worse if I tried to look at anything that was light, but especially even more so if, it was on a digital screen, whether that be my phone or computer screen or even my TV. So I, I am very sorry about that. First, I'm going to collect some stuff. Here we go. I'm hoping everyone is having good luck with this. This, this time around, it's a lot easier. I'm pretty confident I can do this without buying any characters. Not that I have a choice at the moment. Almost halfway there. Surprise, I'm still at the top. Anyway, here we go. Gonna visit everyone. Le and there's my friend code. Don't forget, it's the very top left hand corner if you want to add me. Apparently, I got some rubies. Thank you, everyone, for. The rubies I, I'm getting for the friendship adding. I'm surprised the game even allows it at this point. Here we go. Thank you, uh, dear Envelope 10. Oh, I probably have some more here. Wow, I got, I got a lot. It, it wasn't like this before, I swear. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Not going to even attempt to try to collect everything. My mailbox looks full. Okay. Shouldn't take too long. At least I hope not. Um, some interesting news. A whole bunch of new uh, MLP merch just came out. At least in Russia, uh, there's a, a Russian MLP channel I follow. And actually, take it back, um, I think there's either an English one or an American one that I just saw that said they just saw the new MLP merch at their store. Kind of upsets me that we don't have a show anymore, but they're still making merch. Not that I don't want any merch, it's just, it, you know, it's a little bit upsetting. But uh, anyway... A lot of it is blind bag stuff, but it looks like both the brand new um, Kitty Mark crew version of Celestia and Luna, both in Pony and Equestria Girl form because it's a double pack, has just come out. Um, it's like called the Ma Magic Potion something. So keep your eyes peeled on that, especially if you want an, a brand new Princess Celestia and Princess Luna collectible. That ironically, it, you're getting two for one, which is great because uh, it comes with both, like I said, an Equestria Girls version of Luna or Celestia and then the Pony version of Luna and Celestia. And we just don't get very many of those, let alone the Equestria Girls version, let alone them both together. Yeah, I. <laughs> this is going to be a while, but it's interesting that you guys should know. I'm actually kind of excited about it. I, I'm going to have my eyes peeled for Princess Luna collectible. Okay. So we should go to Cheesecake, which is an excellent name. Wouldn't mind a cheesecake right now. Here we go. Happy late um, Christmas cheesecake and a happy new year. Don't forget there's Cheesecake's code at the very top. And here's their gift. And... They just got into the game from the looks of it, which isn't bad. Um, 
<laughs> Pinkie Pie is jumping around at uh, Apple Jack's totem. Doesn't really look like, except for the totem of laughter, it looks like not very many of them are activated. But I would wager that they're working on trying to get to the the totems to get further into the game. Um, it's very well organized. Looks very nice. Um, not really any um, Christmas decor. But it still, like I said, it looks pretty nice. So if I were to pick a favorite section, probably would be what's on the screen right now. It, it looks very, very nice. Like the idea that Twilight, I do believe that's, no, I think that's actually Zakora's tree. Sometimes I get the two mixed up, but I'm pretty sure that's actually Zakora's tree. But yeah, um... How it is on the screen right now looks excellent. I love the idea that Zakora has her tree in the woods the, in the way that it is. That's kind of secret. I mean, it's not going to be 100% a secret, but it still looks nice. Oh, yeah. yeah. that That's Twilight's right there. I just noticed that. Um, and you have the lava pool and Trixie's place. But yeah, this, this area right here is my favorite spot. It's very nice. Anyway, Cheesecake, I wish you... A merry late Christmas and a happy new year. So how do you all feel about getting more MLP merchandise without the show continuing on? Um, interesting thing to point out. I just saw the Bumblebee movie and there was a documentary after it. Checked it out. And apparently this is like a normal thing for Hasbro. Uh, Hasbro will cancel a series, but they'll keep the series going in comic book medium, which, you know, MLP season 10 is confirmed in comic book form, which is what they did with Transformers a long time ago. And they kept on making merchandise. Now, hopefully the, the comics will be, excellent because we, we there are a lot of great gems when it comes to comic books for mlp i guess i can't really say that for transformers though but it's interesting that this is something that uh, hasbro does or at least has done in the past okay boss cookie or cake it was probably cake yeah merry christmas blossom cake and happy new year and yeah, they went straight for the totems. And I bet you, if I look really good, Princess Luna is probably out running around here somewhere. If not, they're probably going to get Princess Luna pretty soon. At least I hope so. Um, anyway. Looks decent. It, 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 They're probably, op, like I said, optimized to try to get to the elements. Which I don't blame them. That's what I did too. I wanted to get through the story ASAP <laughs> it's it's still a little bit organized it's a bit chaotic but organized it's not too bad um, if I were to pick a favorite section it would have to probably be this one kind of looks cool having the original Two Sisters Castle out here in the wilderness by Rarity's Element. And it has, you know, a couple houses by it out in the wilderness. And it's not exactly kept because not very many ponies live out here. But it kind of has a nice look to it. Anyway, Merry Christmas Blossom Cake and Happy New Year. And I hope you're doing well in the campaign. So, um... What do you guys hope will happen in this in the season 10 comic book version of MLP? Wouldn't mind seeing what you guys have to say. And um, apparently the the pony crew, Kitty Mark crew, apparently that's still green lit. It disappeared for a while, but it's I don't know, it must be you know, YouTube just messing around or something like that. But apparently it's still going to be coming out. Uh, I think it'll be kind of be interesting. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's probably its own continuity. Anyway, 
Sunset Music. It's kind of a nice name. Merry Christmas Sunset Music and Happy New Year. And this place is very busy, very well done, and very interesting. This might be my favorite place of today that I have visited today. Don't think it has any Christmas decor, but it still looks very, 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 very nice. There's that item again, or emblem again, I should say. Oh, well. I have no idea what the heck that is. Looks pretty cool, though. Um, if I were to pick a, a favorite section, it's going to be exactly what's on the screen i really love the look of all the snowy tree houses with a whole you know with a bunch of wilderness by it you have all these different uh things set up right here for ponies to dine at while looking at the beautiful scenery looks really nice i, I really like that part um anyway merry christmas and happy new year sunset music this is probably my favorite place like i said for today um, so what was I going to say? Would you guys, what would you guys think if they made a G4 MLP game? What, what style of game would you want to see with the G4 ponies? I still vote for, um, a Final Fantasy style game. Coco Knight, that is my favorite name that I've seen today that's a really nice one i love coco and i love the night hence princess luna so we're gonna go visit coco night hello coco night merry christmas and happy new year so this looks this looks very good as well um they don't have as much stuff unlocked but what they they do have unlocked and what they have built in the areas they have unlocked it looks very very nice um, it's actually slightly more organized than the last place I was at, but it's still a little bit chaotic, but it's, you know, it's kind of cool. Um, this is definitely a solid second place. It, some parts make me want to say first place. It's definitely good. Very, very good. And if I were to pick a favorite spot, it would have to be... this what you're seeing on the screen i again i love the snowy tree cottage houses and then it's right next to a very nice beautiful inn they have lots and lots of beautiful scenery and then you have this uh you know a cottage right here or cabin looking out at the beautiful scenery they get different views different angles to see of the beautiful scenery very nice place so um yeah, this is definitely excellent. Thank you so much for your hard work, Coco Knight. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Yeah, and I would also love to have a Mega Man style MLP game. We we had, you know, Mega Pony come out, but it made me angry because they had MLP on YouTube. They made like a 10 year or 20 year or something. It was a I don't know, something year anniversary. Don't know if it was for MLP in general or just G4. And they did a Mega Man style commercial with even the, the, the way the characters were drawn and playing in the game was like Mega Man. It got everyone's hopes up because we thought we were, we thought we were going to get an official side scroller with MLP. And it's like, oh, well, it was just for fun. We're not going to make any cool games like that. <laughs> Slender Juggler. Oh, no. Don't tell me the rest of these are going to... Okay, I I may have reached the end. Oh, no, we, we get to go visit Uncle. Hello, Uncle. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. It is not snowing here, but wow. Oh, and they have the, the sun setting. 
I've not, I have not had a chance to get that. Looks kind of nice. They have Christmas decor out, which is pretty cool. I really, really like this place. I, I take it back. This is my favorite place of the day. It looks like a gigantic forested, you know, Ponyville. But the forest is also a maze, kind of like what I did with small sections of um, the, the Deer Kingdom. And, uh, you know, some of the other buildings I felt belong in that section. This is excellent. I really, 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 really love this place. Might be my favorite place I've ever visited ever. And I don't know if I could pick a favorite spot because it all looks so awesome. In this place, every single, just about every single house has its own lawn. I couldn't do that because of what I did to design my place. This is so cool. Um, I guess if I did pick a favorite spot, it would be what's on the screen right now. Oh, don't forget to add Uncle Cake. Their friend code is right by their name. Luna's card is hidden right there. This is a very, very cool place. Anyway. Oh, yeah, I just noticed that all, of, all the Cloudsdale buildings are set right there. That's kind of cool, too. Anyway. Uncle Cake, this is an excellent, excellent place. Thank you for your hard work. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Unfortunately, it looks like we're in the territory now where the game has decided there's just a lot of people, even though there's no reason for it. Um, I won't be able to visit a lot of places, unfortunately. Hopefully it won't be too bad, but I have a feeling like all the good luck that we've had, it's going to go downhill. Okay, little music. Nope. Cheese. Nope. Spirit Ritter. Writer. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, here we go. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Almost looked like it wasn't snowing. It, it was just snowy, but it didn't snow. They don't have very many walkways, but it still looks pretty nice. Ooh, that's that's pretty nice, too. I like uh, the way that the Christmas tree and all the Christmas decor and Christmas-specific buildings are done up right here. That is very, very nicely done. Don't think I can deploy this anymore just because of the lack of room. I like how um, a lot of the buildings have, I mean, a lot of the elements of Harmony have structures around them. Kind of like how I pointed out that I like that look whenever it, it makes it feel like when you build stuff around it, the way this is done, it makes it feel more important. Because in all honesty, it is an important part, the elements of Harmony. Pretty cool what you have done. Anyway, thank you very much. You've done a lot of good work here, and I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Let's see who else we can visit. Let's see if it's even possible to visit, I guess I should say. Um, that reminds me, one of my followers gave me, or asked me, I should say, to read one of their stories, which I will do sometime this month. I'm just very busy at the moment. Um, I don't think it'll be this week, but you never know. You'll, you'll know it when you see it. It's an MLP fan fiction. Looks very interesting. Ooh, <laughs> I went past it. Okay, here we go. No, too bad. Speedy. Nope. Aunt. Aunt so oh, we get to visit Aunt. Hello, Aunt. There's Aunt Day's friend code. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's at Aunt Day's. This place is loaded. 
it's it's filled to the the max, just like how my Equestria is. I mean, my Ponyville. Well, I guess I can say Equestria too, because I am pretty much at the max on every location in my uh, Equestria. This is also pretty nice. Have a maze-like look for all the structures over here. I love all the trees and shrubbery. Yeah. Oh, they got a Christmas tree next to the normal trees. That's pretty cool. St. Patrick's Day. St. Pony Patrick's Day. Um, that looks pretty cool, too. Miniature Forest was Zakora's house in the middle of it. Or pretty close to the middle of it. This is also a very excellent place. And I do believe... What's on the screen is my favorite spot. Looks very awesome in this spot. And I do believe, yeah, that was my favorite spot. This is a really excellent space. A lot of hard work went into this, and this is really, really, really good. Anyway, Aunt Days, wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. going to do one more. <laughs> it fill a load. This doesn't seem like a, a good thing that's going on. I'm actually kind of concerned. <laughs> huh, that's weird. Oh, that's probably my new friends. Uh, let's go check them out. Here's Granny. Hello, Granny. Granny Music. Don't forget, there's Granny Music's friend code right there. Granny Music's place also looks incredible. They are probably... Either they already have done the Discord full-blown campaign, or they just unlocked it. Um, a lot of work went into this one, too. Um, it's very, very excellently done. I love uh, the yard for Twilight's Castle. The School of Friendship might be my favorite section here. This it, it looks excellent. I love all the trees and all the structure they have there. They're hidden by the trees. <laughs> looks very, very cool. Um, for some reason, my screen darkened. And I can't do anything about it. Darn it. Um, well, it looks very, very nice. Uh, I, I'm not kidding. This This looks excellent. Love the jack-o'-lanterns and rainbow spotlights by the pools of lava where the dragons come from. Well, anyway. Yeah, like I said, this is an excellent place. Oh, rainbow dash balloon. <laughs> anyway, Granny Music, this place is awesome. Wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I might just go back through the friends list up into the point where I stop just to get everyone new in, unless they're further down because it would be a shame to, to not visit them. Okay, King Days. Did I, no, I didn't. King Days. Here we go. Merry Christmas, King Days, and a Happy New Year. And don't forget to add King Days. Their friend code is at the top. Okay. So this place is also pretty much maxed out. Pretty much. There's a section right there where some of Nightmare Moon's darkness still exists and must be dispelled. So it's very chaotic but organized. Very nice Christmas section. Um, 
Tiles look nice. Like I said before, I'm kind of shocked that it does look so nice with the party tiles. I tried to use them sparingly because I didn't think it would look nice. But it does. It actually might look a little bit better than the dirt paths. Don't recall who lives in that building. Pirate ship. Yeah, the, the pirate ship came from one of the comic sets, I believe. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it, it it's like this for you, but it's kind of hard to see for me because my screen is darkened for some reason. Um, I guess this, the area I'm in is not bright enough despite the fact that I have a bright light here. I don't know what's going on. Oh, wait. Okay. The brightness came back. So the, the reason I zoomed in on that last thing was because I thought maybe I saw the bat decorations, unfortunately. Don't know why the screen just is randomly darkening. There's the aquarium. Anyway, King Days, um, I love that you have a section for the Christmas decor. So obviously by default, that's going to be my favorite Christmas section. You've done an excellent job, King Days. And I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I hope it doesn't screw up again. <laughs> I guess it's the story of everyone's life, I suppose. I hope it doesn't screw up again. Okay, photo. Oh, why are you darkening? Okay, it's going back to brightness. Okay, photo. It's, is it going to be photo finish? Photo night. Okay, well, it's photo night. Happy Christmas photo night and Merry New Year. <laughs> Anyway, don't forget to add photo night because their name is uh, their friend code is also right next to their name So what do we got here? well Some sections are also still covered by nightmare moon's darkness Kind of cool what you did there with the statues um, It's very chaotic well parts of it are the rest of it's organized. It's got lots of tiles down. Again, probably to just prevent rocks and stuff from forming. Um, it looks nice, though. Don't think I really see any Christmas decor. So I will have to pick a non-Christmas-themed place that's my favorite one. And that will probably be... I don't know, this this really draws me. I really like it with all the different statues next to each other. Makes me wonder what the ponies do when they come here to this park with the statues and what significant the significance the park has. Maybe it's possible that the sea serpent was stealing gems and magical energy which is represented by the heart, and then it took a team of extraordinary ponies to stop the sea serpent. You never know. Or maybe they just played games with the sea serpent. And it was a festival for the day they got to play games with the sea serpent. <laughs> you just never know. Anyway, this is a very nice place, photo night. And I wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Let's see who else we got. It's acting up a lot, a lot more. Okay, Violet Cookie. Violet Cookie, that is an awesome name. Merry Christmas, Violet Cookie, and Happy New Year. It is springtime here, that's for sure, but it still looks very nice. Hmm, that's kind of cool, too. The special uh, unicorn statues that have the shrubberies by them, that's pretty nice. Celestia is hanging out by the hotel, probably 
picking up fancy cakes that are exclusive to that hotel. Twilight's Castle, Amethyst Star. The star of the story, but not really. She is a star, but not the star. Okay. Cloudsdale's kind of close to the element of loyalty. Totem. Got a party going on here. Yeah, the, the, I got this whole collection here from the first time they ever... Sorry, second time they had a limited time story event. And back then it actually was even different than, than the one that we're playing right now. It felt more like a full-blown campaign. It's just everything at a time limit as opposed to all these different menu special features with doing the story that way. It's all about Rainbow Dash and Spike. And, that, and if you completed it fast enough, you got Spike, which, you know, I was able to do, thankfully. Um, anyway, if I were to pick a favorite spot from Violet Cooking, it definitely would be this area. I just, it's very nostalgic for me. First campaign I ever got to do that was limited time one. Really cool. I wish I got to do the very first one. I probably have mentioned it before, but it was about Ponyville being attacked by dragons. And if you defeated a dragon, you got uh, sapphires, except for sapphires back then are way more valuable than they are now. Uh, sapphire counted pretty much like a ruby, but you could spend it on anything, even things that were locked in Bloom Pop, even though you're supposed to randomly win it. Didn't have to if you had sapphires back then. Anyway, you did an excellent job, Violet Cookie. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. wonder if we have any more to go through. There's a lot of people added. I just don't know if they all went in the area where I actually had already, you know, the groups of people I've already visited. Obviously, Cloud did. So we're going to go visit Cloud. Merry Christmas, Cloud, and Cloud Days, and Happy New Year. And don't forget to check out Cloud Days friend code and add them. Okay, here's your gift. The most ultimate of happy trees sitting right there. And then Amethyst Star is having a meeting with Starlight Glimmer. That is probably going to be an epic meeting. Anyway... <laughs> Their place is very chaotic. That's actually pretty cool. That That's very reminiscent of what I did with uh, my ancient Cloudsdale military troopers. I was debating putting them, you know, building their base right next to or integrating it with the Cloudsdale structures I had. But the building itself was so uniquely different that I felt it probably would be better just to build it someplace else. Ooh, you got Princess Luna and Trixie. That's pretty cool. Castle, the current castle of the two sisters. Don't really see any Christmas decor, but I will pick a favorite spot. And my favorite spot is definitely right here. This looks pretty unique very busy you got some of the special uh apple cider slash uh herb uh concession stand right there from the the deer campaign anyway clouds days you did a good job merry christmas and happy new year We should be getting pretty close. At least I hope so. <laughs> Might have to stop. Might just do one more and then keep track of all the ones I didn't go to. Okay. Yeah, I got a... You know what? I, I, I will just... Um, I'm going to skim through this really fast. Just in case the thing expires. 
Okay. Um, yeah. I will start with the ones, you know, that are highlighted here. You know, the ones I haven't gifted yet. Because I really got to go. Anyway, everyone, I wish you a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and you're all doing an excellent job, and I wish you luck with the campaign.